Today, we will discuss the process of building model in Islamic economics. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Welcome to Islamic economic series. In this channel, I discuss topics and concepts in Islamic economics. To begin the discussion, let's say we want to build model in Islamic economics. For example, you may be interested to write a thesis or even a theoretical paper or any concepts in the area. The process starts by first, the person needs to understand the Islamic worldview because Islamic worldview is the philosophical foundation for the discipline. Only by understanding the Islamic worldview, we can have a proper perspective and dimensions on topics that we are researching in. Number two, with Islamic worldview in mind, then we need to establish the Islamic visions on economics. The idea of Islamic visions on economics here refers to looking at certain economic topics or concept or issues from the lens of Islam. So when we say Islamic visions, it could cover many topics or concepts such as if we want to do research on consumption then we need to establish the Islamic vision on consumption to do this we need step number three that is we need to go to Quran and Sunnah in order to get the divine perspectives on the topics that we are interested in for example in the case of consumption, we can go to Al-Quran and As-Sunnah. Now it is much easier because we have the Quranic index and also Hadith index where we can look for verses of Al-Quran or Sunnah related to consumptions. And from here, we can establish the Islamic vision on consumption. The next step, step 4, is to continue to the literature review by first looking at the previous works done by Islamic scholars in economic areas, in Islamic studies, or in any other areas related to the topic that we are researching. The next step, step 5, is to continue with the literature review by going in studies done by many other scholars. For example, in the case of consumption, there are so many theories and concepts being developed. So, go to this research, filter them if they are not Islamic, or Islamize those concepts and incorporate them in Islamic economics. With all the previous steps earlier, then one should have a proper understanding of the topics. And this is where we could use our ideas, creativity to come up with new model or an improved model. And to achieve this, we need to have a proper hypothesis, assumption, so that we can test the model. Step number seven is to test them. There are many ways how we can test economic theories. So this depends on the model itself and many other factors such as the data or methodology that we plan to employ. Once the test has been undertaken, we can now have the results. We need to recheck whether the findings meet the expectation or there are suspicion about the results that may require the rechecking process. And this rechecking process may involve tweaking the model or improving the model or considering better data or variables and many other things. If we are satisfied with the results, then we can propose the findings as another evidence to support the concepts or theories that we are contributing in. Here are the steps that we have discussed earlier. Assess how it is different than the process to build model in the conventional economics. In secular economics, the first step is not about understanding the Islamic worldview. Secular economics is based on understanding the secular worldview. That's the first difference. Number two, in secular economics, with the secular worldview, 
the economic visions itself is based on secular vision of economics. The next one is in conventional economics, definitely divine tax is not part of the process. I think that's all for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. Give your thumbs up. See you next time. Wassalam.